What's going on, everybody? Greg X here. Um, I got another little list for you. This time, it's going to be the worst cars you can get as like a starter car, like a, the worst fast cars. So we're going to start off with a DSM, the Eclipse, GSX, you know, the Eagle Talon, the 4G63 cars. They are fast as shit. They make power very easily. But this is not a car you want to get if you're on a budget. These are not daily drivers. They are terribly unreliable. Most of them are ragged out. These cars are old as hell. They've been owned by teenagers. So yeah, I would not get that. Even though they're cheap, just please don't do that to yourself. So next up, we have a B5 S4, Audi S4. I actually own one of these. It was bad. Um, The gas gauge went out. Uh, The wheel kept coming loose. I think I launched it so hard it came loose. The valve cover gaskets went out, and then the half moon seal started leaking, so it would still leak oil, but you gotta mess with timing to replace those, I believe. So that was a whole thing. On the autos, they have an EGR valve. That actually caused a hole in the engine itself, so I'd have to pull the engine to fix that, because I, fi I couldn't fit anything down there to fix it. So it made this real loud tractor noise. It was terrible. Um... The trans in them, the auto trans brake, they have timing issues, the turbos are weak, they have KO3 turbos. Those cars are badass, I have a soft spot for those cars, but damn they're bad. Mine, I had it chopped under the car, all it had was primary cats, and I would have read that thing out and let off and it would shoot the nastiest flames. I really do miss that car, but it was bad, that car was really bad. So next up is a 335i, specifically N54 powered BMW 335i's. So I actually own one of these right now. Um, so far I've done a water pump, thermostat, alternator. What else? Uh, the lifter actually messed up in it recently. So my car is pulled apart right now. It's misfiring. It's got this real loud tapping noise. So we got to do that. Uh. The ECU failed and caused the injectors misfire. I had to replace that. I went ahead and replaced the injectors. Man, just so much stuff with that car. So much little bullshit with that car. It was bad. I had to do the alternator with the voltage regulator. I don't know if I already said that. I might have. But yeah, I kind of want to sell that car. But at the same time, I love it because they pick up power so fast. But anyway, next up is the 1987 body Camaros even with the V8 the Irox my mom had one that was the most unreliable car she ever had they only make 190 horsepower they make decent torque 285 but still my mom said that was the worst car she ever had now I don't want to speak for one car but even if they are reliable look at the power they make like it's a lie. You don't want to get that. I know people love that body style. I actually like it too, but that is just, from my experience, that is not a good car to get. So, last is a big mistake a lot of young people make. Buying cars that came in A that are boosted, like Hondas and Two Vows and Miatas and stuff, buying someone's el someone else's project like that, that is a terrible idea. Most of the time, they're ragged out. They're on cars that can't handle that much power. They're going to blow up soon. Yes, they are fast for a few months, and you'll love them for a few months, but then they're going to give you all the headaches in the world. So don't do that. So um, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.